Hey Gemini, it's Ia Patsy, and I'm here to do your reading for this time period, 30-day timeless reading. So whatever and whenever you come across this reading, it is time for you to see it. So I hope everyone's doing well, um, staying safe, dealing with going back to school or however school looks for you, going back to work, however that looks for you and your family at this time. We're just praying for everyone's safety and health. So I'm going to get cards for you today from the Miss Cleo deck. And Miss Cleo deck. And um, also going to get some cards from the Romance Angels. And an oracle card from the journey of love. Unless, unless that's the intention. So let's see what comes for you today. Everybody's readings have been different this cycle, so don't feel no way. <laughs> Just the way I'm being led to go. So, okay, let's get your first five cards here for you. All righty. All right. Huh. All right, so the overall energy is the king of wands, king of staffs. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Leo, or an Aries, or that could be your own energy because Sagittarius is the opposite of Gemini. Um, so that could be you. Or you could be dealing with this king of staffs. So this is a king of wands, someone who is... Uh, Passionate, someone who is, oh, he goes for what he wants, he goes after what he wants, he's in control, very passionate, could be a little uh, egotistical, perhaps, but that's the overall energy. First card that came for you here is the star, so this is about healing, number 17, one and seven is eight. So this is some healing. And you may have been trying to do this healing for a long time, trying to balance out something, trying to look for an answer and receiving that answer. Also talks about sacrifices. Knight of Cups. So this is a water energy. So you'll be dealing with a water sign or an Aquarius or a person that has Aquarius and water, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their chart. So this is someone offering some healing in the form of love or communication. Someone that could be extending to reconcile a friendship or relationship. Page of Cups, this is Pisces energy. So could be offering... some love to another person, to a Pisces or another water sign. Could have been trying to find some balance, you or this person, Gemini. Next we have Wheel of Fortune. So things are turning in a positive manner, turning, things are moving forward. So number 10, so these things are moving forward for you or whoever this person is. Five of Cups came out with the Ten of Cups. So, Ten of Cups is happiness, love, relationship. Could be family love, could be a relationship love. Someone who's gained their, all the love that they were looking for. Two people, Gemini, two people, who have decided to involve themselves with one another, share their love. Could be a friendship. Five of Cups. So maybe someone had been left out in the cold, and maybe someone was praying for this happy ending, 
after being, after feeling left out in the cold. So things have changed. Things have turned in your favor. So no longer feeling left out or you felt left out of a love situation. Things had changed. You're healing. Hmm. Let's see what else. Underneath this king of staffs is the four of coins. So someone may have been holding tight to their passion, holding tight to their feelings, holding tight to a relationship, holding on to something, keeping something close to their vest, their feelings, keeping their passion. And now they're healing and they're ready to offer their love. Things are changing in your favor or in their favor. They're not going, they're feeling left out of a love relationship. So some was, someone was feeling left out of a love relationship. Two people who had offered each other their love. Number 19, the sun, new beginning, that's clarifying the star. So this is healing and a new beginning. Six of swords, clarifying the knight of cups. So moving forward to offer some love somewhere, new beginning. So strength is covering the page of cups. Let's see here. So someone's being strong. Someone is being very sure about the offer that they are making. And they expect that they'll be able to handle this situation, this love. Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled is clarifying the uh, Wheel of Fortune. That's also Pisces energy. Wow, things are changing and healing. Someone is going to make some moves going towards some victory about something that they feel very passionate about, a very strong love connection that they have, that they feel they have, and they think it's time for things to change. The chariot, cancer, energy could be Sagittarius energy also. That's another seven. And that's covering the five of cups. So someone is coming out, moving away from or going forward after being left in the cold. Ten of staff is clarifying this ten of cups, putting down a burden. Eight of swords. So this was some painful situation that was going on, some regretful situation that was happening because someone was holding on to their passion and not being open with the way that they felt. But there has been some balance and some healing that has come, on, come along that's going to give you a new beginning. And someone will be coming towards you or you will be going towards them or someone around you. Um, make it fit where it fit. If it doesn't resonate, then it doesn't resonate at this time. It might resonate later on in the month or at some other time when you come across this reading. Um, yeah, so there's something that you feel very strongly about, a, a passion, a love offer that you feel strong about. And you think it's going to change, it's going to change your luck, something that you wish for. So we have a 10. Well, this is a Wheel of Fortune is a 10. We got a 10 of staff, a 10 of cups. So that's 10, 10, 10. So you got three 10s, you got three ones, and then you got three. So this is part of God's plan. Seven is the chariot, which is also divine number. 
You have 8 here. And 17 adds up to 8. And then you have the, oh, the sun is 19. That's another, that reduces to 1 again. So you have 11, 11, 4 1s. 1, 2, 3, 4 1s. So that's stability. That's something that's you manifested. You or your partner, Gemini, manifested this. This is a putting down a burden and going forward to this love. So holding back from this love or having been or having felt left out was a burden for you, but now this burden is going to be put to rest because you are moving forward towards this new beginning. Jane, okay. Towards a wish fulfillment with this King of Staffs energy after a lot of work, a lot of hurt. Work and hurt. Okay. If this is not about love, then it could just be an offer that you feel very strongly about moving forward to a new beginning. Could be a new career opportunity, could be work, but it's something that you're enjoying doing, that you will enjoy doing, something that you've wanted to do for a long time, and it's going to make you very happy. Maybe it took a long time for this divine intervention to come about or for the you know, time to be right, but it is the right time, and it's going to be a stable new beginning. So wherever it is you're going to work or moving to, it's going to be good for you. You're going to enjoy it there. You're going to have a lot of love extended to you, and you will be extending love towards others. You may be holding back a little bit, but you are going to be strong and take advantage of this chance to have your wishes, have your wish fulfillment. That it's something that you ding that you've wanted a long time. Ding ding. Okay. Romance Angel Oracles. Get some information. Gemini, some messages for Gemini from the Romance Angels. Do we need? <laughs> okay. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So this could be Someone that you are attracted to, again, it could be a family member, or it just could be an opportunity that is perfect for you. Engagement. There, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Well, if this is a love reading, then that's what's happening. Mm, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so this is some kind of spiritual connection all right it's being influenced by your spiritual path so this is divine intervention you are the universe is working to bring you this new beginning to let you get past this pain and hurt and someone you or the other person letting go of being Stubborn or not expressing their passion or expressing their feelings. Things are changing in your favor, Gemini. Very soon. Decide what you want now so that it comes to you. Clearly decide what it is that you want so that it comes to you now. So whatever you've been wishing for and praying for, make sure you're clear about what it is that you want because it's getting ready to come to you past life relationship. You've known each other before in a past life. That's why you feel this connection. You may, bottom of the deck children, have known each other as children. So you may have grown up with this person. This also could be talking about a real past life relationship. And that's why you feel this draw to this person. That's why you feel this healing energy for this relationship. It could also be saying that you and the partner are um, have children or that you're going to have children but for a lot of you you know each other for a real long time you may have grown up together Gemini all right so 
or again because um, the chemistry card, I see that as a family connection also, so this could have to do with children. All right. This has this may have to do with children. You may have to engage with family and children. You may have to be strong about your feelings and explaining this connection for some of you, justifying this connection as you go forward. So maybe there's some questioning. Maybe this is that Eight of Swords energy here. Maybe some, yeah. And underneath this is the Ace of Swords. So there's some clarity about some past hurt or maybe the situation was stuck. Maybe you felt like you weren't making any progress, but something has changed, something has healed. Someone is deciding to open up about their feelings and to, or at least about their passion for a situation. And that is going to start the wheels to turn. That's going to make the energy change very soon. So lots of talking, lots of praying. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get some cards from the Psychic Tarot, see if we can get any other messages for Gemini. Five, an emotional loss. So that's in keeping with that Five of Cups there. So there was some kind of a loss, like I said, someone was, when someone was feeling left out in the cold for a really long time, kept going over, round and round in circles. <sighs> a lot of hurt heart, pain in the heart, pain, feeling left down, nine, material harvest, so maybe someone didn't feel someone may have been focusing on their material um, abundance and not focusing on their emotional loss. So someone may have been trying to drown out the pain by working hard and getting things. Okay. So maybe this King of Staffs was having some kind of remorse over some emotional loss, and that was having them feel stuck, and they were focusing on their stability rather than on their emotions. We have here, number one, a triumphant su success. So getting some clarity, right? Getting the healing. Dang, ready to go forward, make a decision, be honest. And clear. You know, we have following your intuition, listening to the messages, following your intuition, paying attention to your dreams, synchronicities around you. And now we have another five financial and material changes. So following your intuition, focusing on your work in order not to focus on the emotional loss or whomever this is around you has been successful for them. They follow their guidance, they follow their intuition, and they're going to have major changes, material financial changes, success, ding, in this situation. <clears throat> So this is about work. You've been putting your, your nose to the grindstone, grindstone, Gemini. You have been focusing on your family, your children, and you have been trying to get yourself unstuck. So maybe it was some kind of financial loss as well as an emotional loss. And now you're focusing on what you can change, 
which is your material harvest, and it's a triumphant success. Mm-hmm. Bottom of the deck, number three, fertility. So again, this is the universe bringing you new ideas, bringing you, uh, you could be talking about having children, getting pregnant, because we do have children here and chemistry and fertility. So that could be talking about pregnancy. Could be talking about bringing a new um, child into the world. That could be that um, uh, Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups. Could be bringing in a new birth, things changing, a new chapter coming to it, things changing in your favor for some of you. That could be what's happening here. Something that is going to be a really good success, success because you didn't focus on your loss, you focused on going forward. So that's good, Gemini. So let's get something for you from the... Journey of Love, which is by Alana Fairchild and Richard Cohen. Oh, number 41, which also adds up to a five. Knowing without knowing. Following your intuition. Expecting positive results. Deciding that you were going to focus on what you could change and not on what you couldn't change. Knowing within, without knowing. So I did say you had a lot of uh, earth and water here. Pisces energy, definitely. Cancer with the chariot. Sometimes the heart knows in a way that the concrete mind and memory cannot. We feel something that we cannot quite process or express. Perhaps others are quick to dismiss it as meaningless, whimsy, or irrationality. Yet that feeling beyond the mind's capacity to fully perceive is the ancient truth of your greater self reach, reaching through time and space to connect with you. So you could be getting messages through your dreams or your intuition. Like a phone line extending from a more ancient place in the world, you can hear it crackle, perhaps. Not the clearest reception, yet you can also sense the love traveling along that telephone line. The things that you feel and that do not appear to make sense are the things to trust most now. You are being guided by a force far greater than your own mind. An ancient divine brilliance is reaching to you, communicating with you. And you may not hear or understand it with clarity as yet, but you can feel it. Trust what you feel. This oracle speaks to you of the opening up of your higher mind, of the part of your intelligence that can dialogue directly with the forces of divine guidance and creation. These forces use symbols and abstract communications through dreams and visions through impulses that circumvent your conscious mind and have words streaming out of your mouth or flowing through your mind that you have not created of your own volition. Someone speaks to you and you respond with words that you feel you are hearing for the first time as they pour out of your mouth. Whose words are these, you wonder? It is your ancient self that speaks. Trust the strange and the mysterious at this time. It's another way, an ancient way of wisdom that you're tapping into right now. Enjoy this new sacred connection that's unfolding. This oracle is also confirmation that you have relationships around you now and that are going to continue to come to you that are from times long past. 
karmic connections that you will take further on your journey of love. I have been here before. Aromas open the doors. I walk through knowing. So this is familiar. Again, like I said, it could be family or it could just be that this is a familiar energy for you. A familiar experience you have um, traveled with this person through this through previous lifetimes before you may have been involved with them previously in this life or you may not have met them yet but you will feel familiar with them because you do know them from a previous existence so this is you tuning into your new good gifts all right because a lot of you have had some ascensions and a lot of you have Realize that some of your spiritual gifts are enhanced. You're feeling more comfortable relying on your intuition and following your guidance. All right, but you're noticing the way that you get your messages is expanding or changing, or you're just becoming more in tune with it and how to interpret it. So it's been a learning situation for you. All right, and those gifts, that's, that's fertility right there. That's fidelity right there. That is God bringing these things to you and through you, right? So you'll be able to be more in contact with your spiritual team. And you'll be getting direct correspondence, direct communications with the Almighty. If you're willing to go with that, but if you're not sure what's happening to you, perhaps this is it will explain it to you better or at least confirm what you have been feeling already so Gemini sounds pretty good to me sounds like things are going in your favor the wheel is turning towards you and there's love just there on the other side keep following your intuition keep loving yourself and allowing yourself to receive the messages that are meant for you all right go with your heart Go with love. So I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys real soon. Don't forget to share these messages. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give us a like. Um, thumbs up on this video. And I'll be talking to you guys real soon. All right.